Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to add an alias in Gmail. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in Gmail, I need you to click the Create an Account option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Adding an alias in Gmail allows you to send and receive emails from different email addresses without creating multiple accounts. Now, I find it particularly useful if you have different roles or personas, for example, in your work, in your client, in your company, your personal or your business ventures, and want to keep communication separate. You can use aliases to organize incoming emails more effectively. For example, you can create aliases for specific purposes such as online shopping, newsletters, or registrations, helping you filter and manage emails without cluttering your primary inbox. Now, once you are on the Gmail platform, I need you to hover to the cog icon setting and click on the see all settings. Now, once you are here, I need you to click on the account and import. All right. Now, once you are here, as you can see, this is going to be your primary email address. You can use Gmail to send you from your other email address. And all I'm going to do is click the add another email address. All right. And there's going to be a new pop-up window wherein you can enter another name, enter information about your other email address. All right. And that is your name and email address will be shown on the mail you send. Now, here, for example, if you are using Andy Guide, maybe let's try in Andy's Guides, for example. And of course, just enter your the new email address. All right. And what will happen is you would be able to treat as an alias. All right. Or you can specify a different reply to address. And again, from here, just click on the next tab. And what will happen is you would be able to have an option to use aliases that creates a more professional appearance and of course that reflects different aspects of your business and after clicking on the next step just follow the on-screen instructions all right now gmail allows you to set up filters based on the recipient address by using aliases you can automatically categorize incoming emails into specific folders or labels making it easier to prioritize and respond to important messages. I find it very useful because I use a lot of uh, different addresses and I'm using a lot of aliases. Because, for example, I need to sign up for services or website that might send promotional or marketing emails, which I always avoid. Using aliases can help you track where these emails originate from and manage them accordingly. Now, aliases can be used for temporary purposes, such as for signing up for, you know, events or contests. Once the purpose is fulfilled, you can disable or delete the alias to avoid further communication. In the event that you are having problems creating or adding an alias in your Gmail account, be it on the Gmail app on your mobile device or here on the web browser, I suggest you go in this section the official gmail help center and from here just describe your issue press enter or just go hover down below if you can't find any answer and post to the help community after that click on the uh, post a question and you can be as detailed as you can and of course you can put in some file here now one of the active members might give you insights and troubleshooting steps on how to fix adding alias in gmail if you encounter any problems or issues thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video